Hi everyone, Matt with Split Dragon here. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a product within Lazada Seller Center uh, and point out some of the things that you need to watch out for uh, and make sure you're doing correctly in order to make sure that you, you get the, the biggest benefit in terms of search rank and conversion rate for your product listings. Uh, and by doing that, ultimately it means that you're going to make more money in sales. So uh, it, it's it, the, the user interface within Lazada Center Center seller center that we're looking at right now is, is quite similar to what you see within a Taobao or a Amazon store. Um, so you can basically navigate to the left side and go to products. And then from within products, uh, there are a couple of primary views that you have. Okay, so you have one, manage products. Okay, so manage products will show you all of the existing um, products that have already been created and sitting within your store. You have the core uh, filtering functionality, so you can filter and see the only SKUs that are live by clicking on live. You can see which are missing images, um, which are determined to have poor quality uh, according to the Lazada system, um, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, there's also search functionality here. Um, so you can just search and then go in and quickly edit or uh, manage the existing listings. But uh, for today, we're not going to talk about existing products. We're going to talk about creating new products. Uh, so if, with this being the case, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, to the left side and we're going to click Add Products. Okay. Uh, now we're going to click Create New Products. So there's two primary ways to create products. Uh, one is you can uh, populate a, a Excel file and import that Excel file. So this is valuable if you have a lot of SKUs. If you're already selling on Amazon, you're selling somewhere else. Um, there is a mass import function uh, so that you can you can do this quickly. Um, for for the sake of this demonstration, all I'm going to do is show you how to create a SKU one by one. So um, the first prompt that you get right now is the product name so you can see we have a 255 character limit um, so the first step is um, we're going to create the product name to find the product name uh, so let's assume that right now i'm selling basketballs okay and uh, this is uh, just a generic product name so we we'll just put basketball um, um, uh, men's basketball top rated number one basketball for um, outdoor hoops, okay? So this is uh, something that would be um, heavily determined based on uh, the keywords that you find suggested to you within Split Dragon. So if I wanna go ahead and just log into Split Dragon, I'll show you uh, which keywords you would want to include into this product title in order to maximize your search rank. So you can just jump into keyword suggestions uh, and, and let's go ahead and search for um, basketball. Click get keywords and now we're going to get um, uh, some results uh, integrated with Lazada and uh, also pulling data from Google. So we have molten basketball and spalding basketball. I would go ahead and just put molten spalding as well right here. Um, jersey, hoop, socks, outdoor. So we already have outdoor. Um, so why not just put socks, jersey, okay? Um, and now we jump into category. So the category uh, is definitely going to be in sports and outdoors. We can go to team sports, basketball, and then we click basketballs. So it's really important that you pick the right category because there is about 20% of purchases coming through the navigation of categories, okay? Um, so category navigation is along here, right? And if you're selling well, you definitely wanna make sure that you're appearing on the first page of, uh, so we, we just follow the same thing, sports outdoors, team sports, hope to basketball, and now let's see the top sellers in this category. So here it is, a molten basketball. Um, I think there's there's um, some pretty good listings here. I mean, this is a global collection product, so it's definitely being sold by a Chinese seller. Um, I think there's a risk that it's uh, not a, a real product at this price point, um, including they're giving all this stuff for free. Uh, this is an $85 basketball. That's quite expensive. I think I can, can beat that. Um, 
And then you kind of go and navigate around and see all of the competition. There's a good opportunity to do some product research and find out if you can sell some of these things. But the global collection products will be very difficult to beat from a price perspective because they're just being cross-listed from Taobao and Tmall within China. Um, so that's basically, you know... Um, an overview of the category. So let's go ahead and, and select our category. After we populated the category, we get all these different fields, okay? All these different fields will show us um, the data that we need to input in order to make our, our listing live, okay? So then the first one, which is mandatory, is brand. So brand is, uh, uh, you can see on uh, the left side of Lazada, there's a, there's a filter for brand. Um, and this is why they make brand mandatory because they want to give people the ability to filter uh, for branded products. So we can go ahead and we put, let's just assume that I'm selling a molten basketball. So we'll put molten. Okay. There it is. Okay. And now we go to uh, model. So model really is pretty variable and it's something that confuses a lot of the sellers. Um, so you can just put um, just anything kind of generic here. Um, so maybe you put outdoor leather okay outdoor premium leather something like that okay all right so now we jump into the long description and the long description is what is displayed on the lazada website right here oh well this person so they're not making use so this is what they have is their long description not a very good long description for the number one overall product uh, in the basketball category. Let's see if there's someone else that's uh, spending a little bit more time on making good product descriptions so I can give you. Okay, so here we are right here. There's a number of bullet points. Um, so neither one of these sellers are using the templates for um, a long description. So you, you can click on uh, apply a template and you can just follow the lorikeet tool by adding new images and updating your product, um, just text. Uh, so there's there's a ton of um, modifications that you can do to bolster your product image and it renders well on both desktop and mobile. Uh, but I, I would say that for the purpose of this demo, it's not so relevant. Let's just go ahead and just make something very, very, very simple. So let's go to text. Um, okay, oh, we already have this. So we can delete delete these. Delete this whole section. Let's go over to the modules and we can just remove all. Okay, now we're starting from scratch. We'll go with the headline. So here it is uh, basketball. Okay, so here's the head one um, top rated quality basketball from Philippines or Singapore or whatever. Uh, authentic right so i think one thing if you're selling authentic products is you definitely want to make sure uh, that you're emphasizing that because there's a lot of um, kind of unethical um, activity that's happening uh, for products that are um, coming from taobao or tmall uh, especially in the range of counterfeits uh, so from here you you have um, you know, your your long description you can add uh, images Okay, uh, or you can add whatever whatever you want, but I would I would definitely make sure that what you're focusing on here is um, to give the customer all the information that they need in order to one trust you that you're a good seller, and that two they know what it is exactly that's in the box and what they're going to receive. Because if they don't know, then they're probably not going to add to cart and check out. Uh, and if they don't know, they're probably going to contact you by chat. And that's going to consume additional customer service resources and time. Um, so you really just want to make sure that it's very, very clear what's in the box uh, with the product description. What are the values of the product? How it's different than others? So one thing that I always look at is like you can go and you can see uh, other products and you can look at their negative reviews. OK, uh, and you can you can take the the aspects of their negative reviews and then add it into your product it looks like most of these guys are doing pretty well uh, let's look at this maybe there's a negative review within here do, do, do. okay so we have one star claims basketball is authentic but got this logo okay this is it all right so this is clearly a counterfeit product it looks like uh, so you can say 100 percent authentic product that's not a molten logo, right? 
Um, so, I mean, in this case, you're learning that you should 100% include an, include an image of the correct logo, right? Maybe you, you throw that into uh, your product description. Um, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and move over into uh, the next section. So video URL. So if you have any videos, you can go ahead and upload them here um, and go to the media center, click upload videos. Um, so in this case, it can be an image of you bouncing the basketball, you holding the basketball potentially with your face and just indicating that you know you're a small seller people trust you um and that this is the actual real product uh, that they're going to s receive um with the correct logo that's 100 percent authentic um so you can just upload a, a video there i think it definitely helps with conversion rate um it, you know, it doesn't need to be so formal, depending on the, the, the seller. But there's there's there there are tools to do this for you if you want. Um, but I won't I won't jump in too much into creating video URLs. Maybe I uh, maybe I cover that in another article. Uh, right now, we just focus on creating a product. So highlights. So you can see highlights are highlights are the bullet points that are displayed here. Um, so highlights are indexed in search results. So it's very important that you create a quality um, a, a quality um, product bullet points. So you can basically go here, uh, FIBA approved. So my best practice, and you can see that you have 70 to 100, um, uh, 70 to 100 um, of the attributes that are completed right now uh, that can kind of assess your uh, quality score that comes from Lazada. Um, but you know, to be honest, I think Lazada is a little bit biased uh, in, in, in the way that they want you to populate your data um, because it'll help their catalog. It's not uh, the, the scores and recommendations that you get here uh, do, do not directly impact your search rank or your conversion rate. Right. So you can go and um, now go to highlights. Uh, my prefer my preferred structure here is to definitely include search terms. So you can say authentic outdoor basketball um from molten uh top quality for playing on basketball hoops right because before we saw basketball hoop was valuable um and then i think you can go ahead right here outdoor basketball okay so this is uh this is 100 percent authentic outdoor basketball um it's a uh, men's basketball of dimensions x by y by z you know some example like this um, but you can see like basically this format what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to communicate the key values right here uh, at the top and in, in big bolds and then i'm supporting with messages that add keywords to the product listing okay um, so some of the things that you want to include definitely size country of origin can be valuable um, but i think you know, uh, I think top rated uh, basketball, 100% authentic. You really have to think about all the things that would make someone not want to purchase your basketball or purchase your basketball instead of uh, someone else. And then you can add them here. So I think you can go ahead and put it here. Just go like this, Utah leather. I think I, think I like to do maybe like uh, six to 10 bullet points but make them kind of follow this structure, right? Um, so now we can we can basically call that a wrap, construction, laminated, so I'm sure, let's just go ahead and do this. Indoor, outdoor use, uh, the game, basketball. Okay, official 12 panels. So basically, in this case, I'm kind of reusing the other seller's content. Um, but I'd encourage you to create your own content. I'm just trying to run through this quickly so I don't take too much of your time but show you what the values. Um, so official size seven, that's valuable. Okay, color brown tan. They see that it's brown tan, so that's not too valuable. But really you wanna make sure that you get as many keywords as possible in here. Uh, what's the warranty? Is there a warranty? Um, so I think you could just put, maybe in this case put no warranty. Um, and now, uh, although I've selected no warranty, it's making me select um, a, a range, but this is not uh, mandatory. So we can leave this null. Delivery option standard is a, a standard express economy. Then we go ahead and put yes. Um, can be, so the return policy, we put uh, return within, oh, still got my caps locks on, return 
within 30 days or within uh, 30 days if unopened in package or something like that. Dangerous good? No, it's not dangerous. What's in the box? Uh, basketball. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a pump, air pump. Um, that's it. Package weight. So this is something that's important because it is used to calculate uh, your, 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 your shipping costs. Um, so let's go ahead and just put one, uh, one, one kg um, dimensions. We can put 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters, something like that. Um, so here you, you, there's more product details. I think you definitely want to add these uh, if they're if they're applicable um, because they're going to impact your search rank. Um, but in this case, phone screen size has nothing. I have no idea why Lazada is showing this to us. But now we can go to SKU information. Um, so within basketball, the only variations that we have, unfortunately, are color. Okay. So we can go and we'll just put brown and that's it. And uh, with this being the case, what you'd want to do is you'd want to go ahead and uh, add an image, okay, for this individual product. Um, and you put the SKU uh, for that color. And so you can just do one brown, one, two, three, basketball. Okay, now you want to input your inventory. How many units do you have? So we go to, let's say I have 25 products. Now I have price, okay? So the price uh, right here, I would, I always recommend to start with the price high. So we can go ahead and say uh, 30, okay? And then the special price is going to be 20. So we're indicating that there's a discount. Uh, the start date is yesterday. And then I, I, I like to go ahead and make um, this last like all the way for a very, very long time. So you can know two, oh, uh, let's see, 2022. Okay, so we got July 2022, and now boom. So now I know that this special price is going to be displayed on the page. So basically, you're going to have 30 crossed out with 20, just like this seller's doing. And then after that, that's uh, that's really all you need to do. Coming soon is not relevant. This is if you want to launch the product in a couple of days. It's um, the primary use cases for phones. Like think of Samsung and Apple when they're doing like a pre-release. They need to create the products before and then launch it on a specific day. And that's it. You know. So now you've created your first product, uh, and you can go ahead and publish it. And then after you've published it, um, it's going to appear uh, within Lazada. In this case, uh, I have an error, but that's because I haven't added image, uh, but I don't need to do that. So you can publish the product and it will go ahead and, and display on the front end. And you can go from there and go into manage products and you can see it and you can edit it. So you can go here, you can click edit details uh, and, and do everything that you need in order to, to, to update your product. <coughs> you can also go to Lazada and you can click on the SKU and it'll direct you to the front end platform uh, so you can see how well optimized your product is. So that is, uh, in summary, how to create a product uh, in uh, Lazada Seller Center. Uh, and some of the general best practices in the upcoming videos, I'll, I'll, I'll dive into the individual attributes and the strategies that, that you should take in order to um, optimize your, your product listings. But uh, I, I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, please just shoot a message in the comments. Or as always, you can send an email to info at splitdragon.com. Um, uh, have a good day and thanks for your time. Bye.